Hi everyone and welcome back to our ability system series in Unreal Engine 4. This is episode 7 and what we're working on today is starting to look at our next type of ability, the area of effect ability. These are spells or abilities that you uh, drop on the floor and they can drop on you or you tell them where to drop, wherever it may be, but you they drop on the floor and it sort of creates an area of well effect and it could be a positive or a negative area. So what we're doing today is setting up the general area effect parent and then going over how to make a simple uh, spell on the floor. That may go into the next episode, but we'll see how, uh, how long this takes. So to start things off, we need to take a look at our ability AOE. And in particular, what we'll be look, looking at here is doing something very similar to what we've done with the projectile one. So in the projectile one, we used begin play to start a montage and then the cast ability one to start playing another montage section and then we had to activate the effect. Now for our AOE we don't need to do the starting uh, animation unless you're going to have a sort of casting sort of animation. If that is the case then it would be pretty much exactly the same as you see here plus the extra bit which we're going to do in a second. So but what we're going to do today is uh, make it so it casts without a casting animation. It would just uh, throw up the hands after the cast has uh, happened, which is quite typical for games that have area effect abilities. So we're going to get rid of all the contents of our ability AOE parent. And in here, we're going to get access to the cast ability event. Now, we still want to call the parent function. So we're going to right click on here and add call to parent function. And this will be connected to your event cast ability. Once we've done this, we're going to set it to play a montage. This will require skeletal mesh, and that will come from the player. And we'll get our player reference. Get mesh, and you'll see it right at the bottom. Get mesh. And I'll plug in as our skeletal mesh component reference. The montage we're going to play is going to be a new one, not the fiber one. So the new one, it comes from our resource pack. And in here, you'll find the AOE sort of casting spell uh, one we're going to go with. So let's have a look. And uh, we've got area attack there. Uh, what one have we got here? Let's have a look. I think it's this one that I liked. Uh, no, which one was it? Uh, da, 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 da. There, we go for that one. That's what I liked. So with this one, I'm going to create a a uh, a uh, montage from it. So I'm going to go up to the top and click Create Asset, and we're going to go to Create Any Montage. I'm going to choose a location for this. So I'm going to put it in my Animations folder. And the animation name is going to be um, uh, AOE Montage. And in here, we're going to drag that 100 cast to our timeline. And we can see it playing like so. Excellent. So the thing I want for this though is similar to what I've done with the projectile for the fireball is I want to change the slot that it's in. So from the drop down, put it in the upper body slot. That's my mistake, should have put none at first of all. Let's just drag that back in. There you go. Okay, uh, with that done, we need to put in a point where we know we want to spell the catchy cast. So we're going to find the point in animation that we like. Um, that's quite good, we'll have about there. And in there, we're going to scroll down to our notify section. I'm going to right click on it and add notify. And you're going to choose the montage notify. Click on this. And I'm going to change the name of it to activate spell. Hit save and we can close that. We return to our ability AOE parent. And in a montage to play, I'm going to choose that new AOE montage. This will then assign that montage to the mesh and let it play out. Now that notification that we put on there will trigger this on notify begin. Now if we had multiple notifications on it, we can test which notify it is by looking at the notify name. However, we've only got one, so we don't need to do that. 
So I know if I begin here is when we're going to do the activate effect. Like so. Next, we need to actually call that event up. So activate effect. And also give it the call to the parent. So right click on it and add a call to parent function. So that way it calls the same functions that are on its parent. On the activate effect function, we can quite simply tell this particle system to activate. So I'm going to drag this out and tell it to activate. Now I'll turn it on. We're then going to want to reset and position where we want to drop this AOE. Now remember I said we want to drop it on the floor at the player's feet. So in here we're going to drag this out and do, uh, first of all we need to set the rotation of it. So let's set rotation to 0, 0, 0. So it's, it's going to be facing level with the world. Then we're going to do a line trace by channel. And the channel is going to have a starting position of the player character. So get a player character. And from there, we can get uh, the location. Now be the start. So it's going to look at where the player is and then we're going to cast directly down and that's going to give us our end point. So I'm going to take the actor location and we're going to add a value to it. I'm going to add another vector and what we're going to do is tell the Z to go down. So I'm going to go minus and I'm going to put in 10,000 and plug that into the end. It doesn't matter what number you put in there. As long as it's a high number, uh, the higher the better uh, when, when casting down, but you don't want to go too ridiculous. So 10,000 I think should be a maximum. Okay, so next we're going to look at the actors to ignore because we don't want it to affect the player character. So on actors to ignore, we're going to come out there and do a make array. And we're going to plug this get player character into the make array. Like so. This gives us an out hit. So I'm going to split the out hit. And I'm looking at out hit location. And this, we're going to set this ability to this location. So we can come out of here and do set actor location. And plug in our out hit location. So now this ability is active and is displaying its active uh, effects. And we've repositioned it and dropped it to the floor. Okay. And that'll do for that. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to add a new ability. So we're going to go in here and make a new folder and do one called AOE. And in here we're going to create a new uh, child class of our parent, um, our AOE ability parent. So we could go in here and right click on here and create a child, but I'm just going to show you that you can also do it in this way around as well. We go to new blueprint class, search all classes, and search for your AOE ability. Like so. So I'm going to go AOE underscore holy ground. And we're going to open this up. And I'm going to set some features here for it. So I'm going to open up my default ability details. I'm going to call it holy ground. Description. Uh, lay a uh, shining beacon of hope and heal your, uh, yourself when standing in its aura. Cost of this we're going to do is a uh, 0.3 percent, and the cooldown is going to be uh, let's do. Five, cast time is zero, and no, that's accurate there. Icon, we're going to give it the spell holy in a file, and I'm going to click compile. So I'm just going to add that to my ability bar. Uh, we will be adding the ability to uh, the function to add abilities to the action bar and drag and drop them in from the spell book uh, eventually. But what we're going to do for now is just hard code them into our action bar. 
I'm going to go in here and set this ability to holy ground. There we are. So now if I push play, it will play the animation for holy ground. And it's on the floor, you just can't see it because it has no effects on it. So what we're going to do in the next episode is set up the effects uh, of our holy ground and lay it on the floor, showing how to use a decal to accomplish that uh, and finish off our AOE example. If you want to see the next episode right now, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Ailey where you can watch that video plus many others, uh, all from the value of $1. If you are supporting me, big thank you to all of you. Um, this wouldn't be possible at all. So big shout out and thank you to everyone supporting me on Patreon and on my YouTube memberships. If you haven't uh, already subscribed to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, like and comment, and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.